Welcome to Fisher Diver 2, where I'm detecting a lack of fishing and diving. Oh wait, yeah, this is Psychonauts. I got my games confused for a little bit. Previously on Psychonauts, Lily was captured by the giant hulking lungfish of Lake Oblongata. And now we're under Lake Oblongata looking for him, despite our obvious affliction with water. And also, if you save and reload right here, it plays the cutscene again. Like, it needs to remind you that you're currently under the ocean. Even though the the loadout, the loading thing is even underwater as well. And you see fish instead of birds. But there's not a heck of a lot to this level. I'm actually, this is my least favorite level in the entire game. I said that about uh, basic braining, but this one, pretty bad. You'll see why. Something tells me ringing this bell underwater is a bad idea. Oh look! It was a bad idea. Now we're gonna have to fight this boss in the water where we can't get at him. Well, that's bad news. Okay! Cough up the girl and no one gets hurt, fish! Man, it's gonna be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. But we're gonna have to find some, Raz. I love this boss involves him bursting the air bubble and trying to suck things in. As you see right now. Your goal? Hit these tack boxes. It'll take a few shots. But eventually he'll go away. Or it'll go away. Who knows with this? And now for the annoying part of this level! We get a monster's eye view! And we're going to go into a long auto-scrolling platformer sequence. Yes, indeed. There's absolutely... Well, I wouldn't say absolutely no enemies. Fish can drop on you. The, the hands can appear, as you can see right there, off to the left. They'll try to grab you if you get too close to the barrier of the zone. You might run into a crab. But other than that, not a heck of a lot of enemies. Those clams there? are pretty much landmines. Don't walk near them or on them. In fact, it's a good idea to hit them. They'll close up for a while, and then you can pass by them safely. Also, you're gonna have to break down a lot of barriers, but otherwise this level is not exactly that challenging. Now, I don't know what Double Fine was thinking, but I think they should have thought up uh, something better, like, hey, maybe not having this level. Maybe we just fight the boss right where we started. But nope. Auto-scroller. That's what we got. And also the auto-scrolling will change. Because the lungfish gets bored and wants to go in a new direction. The principle's the same though. Just stay away from the barrier. Don't fall down and uh, sometimes they'll add some platforming elements like the trapeze. Maybe I'll have to telekinesis or levitation jump up areas. And that's an example of hitting the barrier. I couldn't see it there. It was difficult to see. It kind of blends into the background of this level a little bit. You gotta give it a little... You gotta give it a little room. Just let it move forward a little bit. You know how close you are to the barrier by uh, how close you are to the monster itself. I do like... I do like the fact that you're looking through the monster's eyes as you go through this level. I gotta give it that. It's an interesting camera choice. I think we're going to end up in another boss battle. Usually these flat areas include boss battle areas. No, maybe I'm mistaken. More platforming for me. Without the platforming. Hey, where's my platforming at? I would like to platform. Hello, how are you doing today? <laughs> I am just messing around for nobody's business now. Okay, good, more boss battle. I, I like those. We'll just spit some things out. Crabs, diving helmets. Whatever the heck that thing I just punched. But also attack boxes. What the heck is this monster eating that's filled with attack boxes? Are those even tacks? I don't even know. But they're my only weapon against the giant hulking lungfish. Where are they? Where's the rest of them? Hey! Spew more attacks, please. I think he just uh, swallowed some. Sometimes they're going to have to wait for it to spit out more boxes. I think it's random, and I got the short end of the stick there. As you can tell, it does not work. So, don't even try. You, you can't side blast them. 
Invisibility, well, you, you could be invisible, but that's about it. I wanted to shoot that thing! Ah! You know what, I'm just gonna camp right next to it. Maybe I could, uh... <laughs> wow. Random number generator is not helping me here. And now it's giving me a whole bunch, thanks. I just realized how small this arena is. I think it gets smaller every time he sucks in stuff, too, so... Finish these boss fights, these mini phase boss fights, as quick as you can. I guess what we're gonna do after this? No, I'll give you a few moments to think about it. I know you're close to the answer. I'll just spoil it for you anyway, before I die. We're doing more platforming! It's like Tim Schafer said, Hey, how long can you survive in a moving water bubble world with nothing but jump to entertain you? Can you make it all the way to the end? Will you feel like not throttling me? Because that's the real test here. Well, it's a good thing I actually pulled up a notepad filled with facts, because I think I need to break out a few just to make this interesting. Like, uh, the subplot for this game. There's supposed to be a subplot. It involved, uh, Mia's nightmare. Remember the kids that died in her orphanage? They, they got burned to death? Well, it was supposed to be, uh, a big rigmarole involving that, where her nightmares get out and start wrecking havoc in other people's brains. Mostly the campers. But they didn't go forward with that, because they thought it was rather unrealistic for, uh, Mia's thoughts to jump out of her brain and start harming kids. And also it was a little bit too scary for uh, Tim Schafer's taste, and uh, um, so they just dropped the plot, and they didn't pick it back up again. But they left some things laying in the game yet. Yeah, there were supposed to be bosses involved with these nightmares, and there was one they didn't quite remove yet, and we haven't reached that level yet. In fact, it's the level after this one, and it also happens to be my most favorite level in the entire game. It's gonna be excellent! Look forward to that. So, there's that. Yes, we're still platforming. We're still underwater. We're doing this now. I wanted to grind on that stupid cutscene! You're dumb and stupid looking. Yay! This looks like a boss arena. That looked like it would almost have killed me. Are we fighting now? I'll whip out more facts until you die. Now we're fighting the lungfish proper. It'll whip its uh, anglerfish thingy at you. What you need to do is get it caught in those clams. Harder than it sounds, actually, due to the weird uh, perspective. But all you need to do is get it stuck like that, and then punch it to death. Usually you can get about three whacks in before it starts uh, attacking you again. And also, I think I'm due for a side blast upgrade tune. There's no figments in this level because it's not really a mind level. For once. And also, these fish will stick to you. They're actually leeches. They'll start draining life. And also, these things are getting in the way. Alright, lungfish, get over here. I like the realistic splash it makes when the camera hits the outside of the water and gets submerged. Ah, oh, poor little thing. That poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal-sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus-lined air bubble beneath a semi-dry lake bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Maury has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Whoa. Poor little thing. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there! Well, I don't know, Crawler. Did you see it chase me through that entire level? I think I'm more afraid of it. But we're gonna have to enter the lungfish's mind to find out who the true monster is. Is it really the lungfish? Is it Oleander? Or is it Tim Schafer making this level? And he's still dropping enemies on me. Get me out of here. At least in a mental sense. I wonder how messed up a lungfish's mind is. What kind of phobia does it have? 
What are its dreams? Its fantasies? Let's find out. Welcome to the country of Lungfish Land. About two mines over from Eagle Land. And there lies the shining jewel of a capital city, Lungfishopolis, where its citizens live safe and peaceful lives. Ah, top of the morning to you, ma'am. And good day to you, Officer of Lungfish. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy, can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. And then comes a disaster of epic proportions. Oh, in the form of Gogalor. The Destroyer! Welcome to the inside of the hulking lungfish's mind. We are now hulking! This is a very big ripoff of Godzilla and the Rampage video games. And I just love the heck out of it. My, my dad and me are pretty big uh, Godzilla buffs. Him a little bit more than me. I've been exposed to a lot of Godzilla in my lifetime. But we can't really levitate here, so... Let's cha change it to telekinesis! Which we really don't need in this level either. And also, our three-hit combo is turned into a giant monster claw. The mind even works on us! That that doesn't change hey, much either. Gogalore. Down here! Excuse me. Were you talking to me? Ah, ow, my ears! I'm sorry. Ah, oh my god! Ah. Are you okay? He's dead. Oh geez, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Every member of the Resistance is prepared to die fighting the tyranny of Kochamara. What's Kochamara? He's a giant monster like you, Gargalore. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. So hey, have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gogolor. Yeah, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean, I think she... I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gogolor. To access the archives, we must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gogolor! In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the Resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades! Like every good Godzilla movie, there's an enemy monster. And we're gonna need some help to fight him. He's still heading for the orphanage! No, I'm not! I'm heading for the prison! Ha! Freedom! 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 Hoo-ya! Now, how about getting me past those gates? Right. We stole the shield power module from Coach Amara. It's too big for any of us to operate, but it should work for you. By shield module, do they mean new psychic power? Of course they do. Actually, it's a... Uh, the next story power we pick up. I think there's only about two left. Yep, only two more story powers left. This is actually... Pretty useful, depending hey, on your situation. Is this gonna upset Kochamra and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No! I doubt it. Uh, no, no, no. So, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing? Nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No! Uh, maybe one guy would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gogalore? Wait. What navy? Meet us at the dam, Gogolor, for freedom! If I didn't know any better, I think they're lying to me and I'm gonna get shot at soon. So, next time on Psychonauts! We're here! We're big, and we're gonna smash things! Good night, folks. He's not here.